Hey guys, well as the title of this clip uh, suggests, today I'm going to be going through showing uh, the destructive nature of aphids. Um, you may remember, if you've watched my clips, uh, the very last clip that I did, I noticed a slight outbreak of uh, aphids in the patch and um, yeah, unfortunately they went rampant. Um, yeah, with the shortened days at the moment, um, we only get about just under 11 hours sunlight and when I'm working I'm working about 10 and a half of those so unfortunately I sprayed uh, I think it was with uh, success last time little did I know I didn't read up that that doesn't treat aphids so I sprayed them on my day off went off to work for the week come back on my next days off around and I'll show you in a moment aphids completely annihilated my brassica crop but now I've sprayed them with uh, pyrethrum and I've got them under control but yeah heavy losses and I'll uh, show you the destructive nature of that and um, also hopefully finish on a bit happier note with a few other bits and pieces all right well I'll get in and uh, show you the, the damage done okay so as a last ditch effort I've removed all the covers hopefully to get some more beneficial bugs in um, and just so I can exactly see what I have to rip out and uh, I can keep. So we'll start off here with the cabbage bed. And you can see the, they're really badly affected. This one was probably the worst. You can see they're all dead now. You can see all those little black dots everywhere. That's the aphids. There is some still alive and I've only just sprayed them. See here? So um, this is reforming a heart now in the last few days. I have treated the whole this side of the patch three times now as you can see this one here starting to form up again but there are ones that will definitely have to be ripped out I'll show you an example this one here there's no way that's going to do anything so I thought I'd leave it in just so you can see it you can see there's more aphids there and these have been treated with pyrethrum again today um, so these a number of these will actually be ripped out uh, probably the only one in good condition from what I can see is this red cabbage here uh, this one's looking actually quite good um, the Tuscan cabbage that was long here I've already pulled that out and that's been fed to the chickens this one was a self-sown broccoli which was just coming up and yep destroyed so most of this will go to the chickens um, these here, the kale, have been all stunted. These will all be ripped out. You can see right down, once it goes here, there's no coming back. Uh, so, all the way along here, these will be pulled out. See here, again. Except for these ones. These might stand a fighting chance. I'll keep these ones. And the red ones aren't too bad. The bunching broccoli. Oh, Mr. Policeman going by. The bunching broccoli, um, this will all be saved. I think I caught this in time, so that's good. You can see the pyrethrum spray on the leaves. It's got that oily look about it. Um, broccoli, I think I caught most of these. This I can give you a good uh, shot of the difference. So this one here is ready for harvest, and you can see how full the leaves are. Now this one over here was probably the most heavily Attacked. See here, it's not even half the size, and these were planted at the same time. And you can see where it's affected. I don't think this is even going to form properly a broccoli. So I'll wait and see. I might get a few smaller ones, but uh, it looks like a couple of these will get ripped out. But on the whole, the broccoli I caught it in time, so I should be okay there. Cauliflower, same again. I can show you a couple of examples of good and bad so this one here uh, there you go is a just starting to form up is a good example I've caught this one in time you can see the cauliflower just starting to form in there if we go around the other side over here you can see this was planted at the same time and the damage is done at the center of it is just completely destroyed and no new growth coming so this one will more than likely be pulled out so there you go that is the destructive nature of aphids 
All right, well, we'll try to find some more positive things to show you around the other side. All right, now for the positives. First one has to be these potatoes. Um, they're all growing up out of the tires really well. No damage to the leaves. Normally by now these start getting all holes through them and getting destroyed, but the raw blue and the ruby blue potatoes are filling out the tires nicely. So that's number one. Number two positive is the blueberries. It's looking like touch wood a cracker year again for blueberries. Um, this thing is just loaded with flowers and buds. They are coming up everywhere. It just everywhere I look, there's there's buds. The only thing I have to catch is this. Uh, looks like a little bit of scale on this new shoot. So uh, I just need to sort of treat that. Apart from that, this one and the other one over there, blueberries, are doing really well. So that's number two. Now off to find number three. All right. So number three. Number three would have to be these sweet potato slips. Um, these were given to me by a customer at work probably about oh, three or four weeks ago. I didn't um, do a clip on these when I first got them. They just gave me a bag full and I just cut them up and shoved them in this um, very heavy soil. This soil's um, got plenty of clay in it. This particular little spot just here actually may be a little bit too much so I don't know how these, these will go. But yeah, they've, they've shot. All I did was cut them into lengths shove probably mm, I don't know that much in the ground and they've shot with some new leaves so I've got those dotted around there's another one here um, there's about four or five there's another one there um, that's a self-sown tomato popped up there um, so that's number three actually we're gonna have an extra one number four fourth fourth good thing to happen this week the chickens you can notice after last clip they were fighting and one had lost half its feathers and was bleeding on its back there I did separate them for a couple of days not completely just during the day I'd take two out and I put them over well over the other side in that bed stop area over there and um, did that for about two or three days and now they seem to be all getting along happy again so that's number four good thing sorry about the wind we have got um, some rain on the way so it's getting a bit windy and stormy here okay so number five go five find number five all right, so the fifth good thing this week would have to be that I planted out the two passion fruit. You may remember these screens were uh, over the other side, so I spray painted them up, hung them from the um, fence, and I've got, that's a gold passion fruit there, and then I've got the um, traditional black passion fruit over here. So hopefully they'll grow up here and we'll get some lovely passion fruit this year in amongst the fruit trees, as well as these uh, banana passion fruit. Well there you have it guys, it's not always plain sailing is it? You gotta take the, uh, the good with the bad, so uh, yeah, tried to find a positive spin uh, on the end there. Uh, anyway, I'm off to eat this lovely navel orange, which is off the tree out the front. Probably got about, I don't know, 20, 20 this year for the first year, so I'm happy about that. Um, off to eat that, so um, don't forget if you want to, you can leave a comment below. Always like uh, reading the comments and having a bit of a chat. chat. Or um, don't forget there's also the Facebook page or you can follow me on Instagram. I do quite a few updates on there as well. Anyway, till next week or the week after. See you then and I'm off to eat some oranges. See you later.